A very good morning to one and all present over here. Today, I, Vinita Vasudevan Nayar, is briefly describing about planning a course. Now, uh, here I've chosen the course, which is linear integrated circuits, and uh, its prerequisites are analog circuits. So, linear integrated circuits are basically uh, dealing with the uh, operational amplifiers and uh, basic and fundamentals of the same as well as with that fundamental we are going to uh, create or design new circuits now uh, as far as the course description is considered as i said it enhances the student's skill to design circuits using the fundamentals and basic concepts of operational amplifiers and as well as there are other ICs also like voltage regulator 7 to 3 ICs uh, about which the course describes. Now moving on to the first question uh, like uh, as of the main concepts or main elements of the course objective as per this course is <clears throat> the operational amplifier understanding its basics and thereafter designing circuits for various application is the main aim of this course. So uh, apart from that, uh, there are oscillators, active filters using op amps and, uh, and uh, there also we are first going through the fundamental concepts and thereafter using the same to design the oscillators, active filters, etc. Now, uh, apart from that, we have various regulator ICs of hope just uh, functioning is being considered. Now, uh, to get a, a rough idea about the practical implementation of OPAM based circuits is uh, like uh, the agenda as well. So these are the main elements of the course objective, which I feel are important in this course, because uh, as far as the course is considered it uh, at first, like uh, lays a strong foundation regarding the base and thereafter it uses the same to uh, realize the circuits and all so it's uh, based upon the uh, uh, like uh, readability or the observability of the students that is what the main elements are and uh, i decided on these objectives based upon the entire syllabus um, based upon the five uh, modules wherein at first the uh, main specifications and uh, basics of OPAMs are considered. Thereafter, in the second module, based upon that, uh, certain uh, circuits have been designed. And then uh, in the third module, uh, the filters and all are considered. And thereafter, in the fourth module, the timer ICs as well are considered. And uh, in the uh, last, that is the fifth module, the voltage regular IT, uh, ICs as, are being described over there. So moving on to the uh, COBO mapping, based upon these five uh, modules, which I have said, the uh, COs are being uh, designed as uh, the first and foremost is the understanding of the operational amplifier fundamentals and the various differential amplifier configuration, which could be uh, laid down. Now, next is the uh, differential amplifier circuits designing for various applications. Maybe it's uh, a summer or a subtractor, a log amplifier, anti-log amplifier, so on. Then after that, uh, we have designing oscillators and active filters using OPAM designs. And uh, then uh, the working and applications of timer, VCO, uh, voltage control oscillator, and PLFAs, lock loop ICs are there. Finally, the fifth uh, course outcome is this uh, voltage regulator, ICs, and data converter basics related. So these are the five CEOs. And uh, with the proof taxonomy verbs, I would like to map upon the CEO one with the understand level because therein just the uh, understanding of the concepts is uh, given my, uh, much more priority. Thereafter, the designing aspect comes under the create cognitive level because uh, based upon one's own ideas, he is going to design the operational amplifier. And uh, even though he is not uh, going to create a new design, but still uh, it's it will be an addition to the existing design as well. And that's considered under uh, the create cognitive level. Then we have the designing of oscillators and active filters using the OPAMs. 
that is also under the create level and uh, the rest of the ceos are uh, explaining and summarizing hence they also consider uh, con under the cognitive level of understanding now next uh, moving on to the next question which is uh, like uh, why i excluded or included some of the particular pos are strongly linked to the set of ceos and uh, so for example, uh, I'm considering the first PO, that is the engineering knowledge where the students need to apply the basic knowledge of uh, mathematics, science and fundamentals to solve a particular problem. Now here, since uh, once you know the, and once you are thorough with the basic of OPAMS, oscillator regulator ICs, uh, the student can uh, apply that knowledge and uh, to not only understand the the fundamentals but also to implement a, even a higher complex uh, circuit such as designing of a filter maybe a frequency detector and so on so uh, based upon uh, the fundamental which are being uh, covered in the course and uh, also the knowledge of mathematics and uh, science and all uh, he would he or she would be able to create a solution of a particular application so therein, uh, I think uh, that's why this CEO is maximum length and uh, that is the way how uh, it has been done. Now, uh, moving on to the uh, fourth question, that is uh, how I connected the CEOs with that of the learning objectives of each session. Now, uh, based upon the contents and the highlights to be taught in the uh, session, the uh, course outcomes are being linked and uh, thereafter that link is made to extended to the learning objectives as well so for example in the first session of the class i've uh, written or i've planned to uh, cover up the fundamentals of the operational amplifiers now uh, therein uh, the main aim of the uh, session is clear that is uh, it is about the concepts of the basic operational amplifier its significance, why it is being used, and where did it come from, and so and so. Now, this session helps to uh, like uh, clear the uh, basic uh, like uh, concepts regarding the operational amplifier, and that would uh, help the student to design a circuit based on operational amplifier correctly. So, once, for example, if you know the concepts of virtual ground. And if you know the concepts of uh, non-inverting configuration, inverting configuration only, then you'll be able to uh, lay down a particular, design a particular correct circuit. So uh, laying out the solid foundation is necessary. And uh, with that, the uh, like uh, with this session, the uh, first CEO is being uh, met, that is the uh, clearing the fundamentals or understanding the fundamentals. And uh, in considering this session, the first of uh, the objective, uh, like the designing skills as well as uh, developing the fundamentals is being matched as such. So like based upon a particular session, uh, con consider like uh, a particular CEO can be met and in the same way, the course or objective can also be met. Now the varying teaching method, which I would be uh, suggesting for this course is first of all, lecture, then there would be a flipped classroom concepts and there would be debates and finally simulations. So uh, there are uh, like uh, most of the parts or the basic fundamental parts that need to be covered by the uh, teacher. So there should be lecture sessions to clear out the fundamentals of the subject. Then uh, there are certain uh, like uh, topics which could be covered by the flipped classroom like uh, for example, the co uh, the uh, like uh, simulations. So I've planned to uh, like uh, carry out lecture and uh, simulation for certain sections. So for the simulation sections, uh, there might be a flipped classroom. So that is, the students could uh, teach out and uh, they could uh, come uh, like uh, create classroom and create a platform for discussion among themselves as such. And thereafter, I'm planning to create a simulation. That is the the uh, students can themselves, like uh, either themselves or the teacher can intervene and give some projects to the students. So they could simulate those uh, projects themselves and uh, like uh, discuss uh, within the, the class. And uh, by the simulations, I mean that uh, certain designing concept, that is certain designing operational 
amplifier based circuits could be done via simulation that is uh, using a uh, say LT spy simulator and so on and they can be uh, debates also like uh, some of the portions like the detector portion the uh, voltage controlled oscillator that, that are theoretical concepts like that don't have such designing and all but still they could be considered into debate sections now the uh, assessment methods which could be uh, implemented for such a course is midterm exam final exam homework and simulation so uh, now uh, for flipping classroom concept the homework uh, the face-to-face -face and the simulations could be considered. Now, the, uh, in, in case of simulation, there could be a face-to-face -face evaluation by the teacher and the student. So, uh, if he's get, he or she is getting the output correct, uh, then based upon that, uh, uh, the teacher can evaluate and uh, also the student could clear out their concepts. Now, as far as homeworks are considered, they're also the same thing. Some of the questions are being given by the student uh, teacher to the student. So, he or she needs to be uh, complete that and based upon that the marking would be done now uh, this is not just for the ease of the uh, teachers as well because uh, when the homeworks are given so uh, uh, like uh, i've considered uh, all the ceos related to homework uh, aspect why why because uh, a part of each of the learning objective, if it is a, a learning outcome, if it is given as a homework, then the, uh, the student would give some time at least on their own for that uh, learning outcome. And by that, he could self-analyze or self-assess. <coughs> now here, I would like to uh, justify how the weightage of each assessment has been uh, decided as for me. So uh, for the midterm exam, now uh, for the midterm exam, I'm just uh, considering the uh, first and second course learning uh, outcomes. Uh, so that uh, these are the basic concepts regarding the course. So uh, that could be evaluated in a small exam, say a midterm exam, so that uh, the teacher can assess whether the students have uh, acquired the basics in a correct manner or not. And that won't be much burden to the students. So if it is a small exam, they would they won't be uh, like uh, much tense and all, and they could attempt it well. Uh, not in the uh, other sense, like uh, if they won't uh, study, they will pass. Not in that sense, but still, but still, it's since it is a small exam, they would be considering it, and uh, of course, on the other hand, they would be uh, like uh, learning up to prepare for the exam and uh, at this type of exam will help to evaluate the clearance of the concepts by the teachers. So, and these basics as well as designing fundamentals come under the CLO1 and the CLO2. Now next uh, sort of an ex uh, next assessment component is the final exam and that uh, would be covering up the whole uh, course learning outcomes now for that i'm giving up a weightage of about 40 percent so that this student should consider it much more seriously and this would help uh, like this is being linked to all the clo since this would help us uh, analyze that how the course is being progressed or how the student went through the uh, course like uh, uh, what all concepts he could catch up how well he could catch up and all. and this is given the highest weightage and the next sort of assessment is the homework where uh, like the students can self assess as well as uh, they could uh, like uh, the students give these a consideration like these are being assessed so i should perform it sincerely and uh, this is a given a small weightage so that that uh, like uh, uh, what to say the uh, other exam that is the midterm exam is being given a highest consideration why because uh, that is an exam which the teacher could be evaluating very well now homework is uh, like a session where uh, the students even can discuss among themselves so uh, that's being given a small weightage now finally the simulation works now uh, like related to homework and related to the uh, midterm exam, I've given 
much more uh, weightage to the simulation works because simulation work is uh, like helping to develop the practical designing skills of the students. So we are just giving a practical design platform to the students wherein they could implement the circuits in a software, say LT Spice, and they could uh, self uh, like analyze if they are getting the correct output or evaluate by themselves as well. So that would be uh, like covering up all these uh, learning outcomes. Now, uh, moving on to the last question, like uh, I've selected some of the reference reading materials and uh, I like to cite about Dr. D. R. Uh, Chaudhary textbook for uh, linear integrated circuits, which I have suggested. Now, here in this textbook, the uh, basics are uh, like uh, very, uh, like uh, what to say, <laughs> they are mentioned in a very simple manner. It has got a relevant information regarding a particular topic. So, for example, uh, directly just bursting on on the operational amplifier rather than uh, directly bursting on it is providing some basic uh, relevant information regarding ic fabrication and all so there in the basic uh, ideas are first mentioned before arriving at a conclusion and they, in the same manner i've laid down the session plan as well like uh, in the first session i'm talking about the ics and all and thereafter i'm moving upon the uh, basics of opams and all so I consider this text, for example, like uh, apart from the other texts, because uh, the concepts are simply mentioned over here and uh, with much more deeper understanding. Now, uh, for the classroom engagement, uh, I feel not only the teachers, but the students should also be uh, like interactively participating. So it should be a two way communication. Uh, so as I said, I would be like uh, considering uh, lecture as a teaching method and thereafter uh, like uh, some more uh, teaching uh, involvement activities could be established like the uh, debate the simulations as well as the um, classroom effects and all so that would make the class a more uh, successful one because not only the as uh, the learning proceeds as for the aspects of the teachers but, but also uh, from the student size so that uh, how they are getting the concepts and how they are uh, familiarizing with the same and how they are designing skills are be improved could be properly analyzed by the teacher as well. So that's all for today. <clears throat> I hope I have made some of the uh, concepts clear regarding this course. So thank you so much.